Hi there, Andy Cranston here. In this technical demonstration video, I'm going to show you how we can use an expect script to power on and off outlets on a Raritan PDU. So I've got my PDU here, and if I take a look at the user management, I've got a user called command line, which I've set up with operator privilege, and it's got a SSH public key assigned with it. So from a Linux system, I can specify the key identity there, the username, also command line, the name of the PDU. It asks me for the passphrase for the SSH key. I can log in and I can issue a power outlets command to say turn outlet number 12 on automatically answer yes to that question turns it on so we can see if we go to the outlets and 12 is on and if I, I can then also turn it off go back to the and that's it switched off so that's how we do it manually now I've written an expect script which will allow us to basically automate that process. So before I can call it, I just need to set up an environment variable called passphrase and put into that the passphrase for my SSH key. Let's put in very carefully. Now I can run my expect script, which is called outlet control. I'm going to specify the passphrase environment variable using that syntax. Then I'm going to specify the name of the PDU. Um, I want to turn outlet 12 off and that's all I need to type. And if we go back to the PDU, outlet 12 is now off. If we run this again to say on, and go back, we can see it's now switched on. So now I've got a script within a Linux environment that will allow me to arbitrarily switch the uh, outlets on or off on my PDU through SSH. Now, if I just run this so you can actually see what's going on, you can specify just a, a flag called minus D for debug, and you can see exactly what's happening. So it gives you some information. And then you can see this is the SSH connection being automated and effectively the script is basically doing the typing. It's typing in these two commands here for you. Now, having this in a script is very useful because if you've got an external system that's maybe monitoring your PDUs or your environment, you could use this script for, say for example, if the temperature was starting to rise in an environment, you could use this script to kick in and power off uh, equipment that wasn't um, strictly necessary. Uh, so in a hope to give yourself a little bit more time before the temperature rising situation gets to a critical level. You could also use it to switch off equipment that isn't used overnight, for example, to save power. And you could maybe use it to recycle a piece of, a, maybe you've got a bit of legacy equipment that's not, doesn't stay up, isn't very stable without a, a regular reboot. You could use this to actually power off and on uh, that piece of equipment, say on a schedule of maybe once a week out of hours at a weekend. But that's the script that's there. Um, as I say, it's an expect script, which is written in a language called TCL, tool control language. Uh, it takes a bit of getting used to, but, uh, but it's very powerful once you get your head around it. And uh, that's basically the end of the technical demonstration. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching. If you'd like more details about this video, then please get in touch.